Okay guys, another quick tutorial here, something a little bit interesting that I just uh, come across and um, you might want to use this at some point. So we've got a fairly complicated shape, this um, this sort of guy here, he's got some jagged edges, edges and such. So we're going to turn him into a um, piece of end cloth and we're going to make the floor a passive collider. And we're just going to hit play and we're going to get a fairly slow simulation as you'd expect. So it could be worse, but it's, um, you know, fairly slow. Obviously, I'd hope you'd be using a much nicer model than this, but this is just uh, just trying to show you something here. So let's go back a couple of steps. This requires a little bit of pre-planning. So I'm just going to create a cube. Again, this is going to be fairly rough. Cube there, I'll do, and I'm going to create a sphere as well. Now I'm just going to make sure it just about covers the geometry. Cool. And I'm going to grab both of those. I'm going to go to the polygons menu, mesh, combine. And I'm just going to delete the history, uh, freeze transformations. I'm also going to go into the uh, drawing overrides for the geometry. Uh, I'm going to tick off shading, texture, playback, and I'm just going to change the color. Something I can tell um, is what I need to select. So let's select the uh, person. Let's select the geometry, and I'm just going to go to the animation uh, menu, create deformers, and uh, I'm going to hit wrap. Okay, so now when I select this geometry, it deforms the object. All good so far. So I guess you can know what I'm going to do next. Um, obviously if we move this, it's parented to it. So I'm just going to go into the end dynamics menu, end mesh, and I'm going to create an end cloth from this. And let's look at the performance difference. Oh, let's rewind that. So I've got a much faster simulation. And let's just make this uh, passive collider. So we're still getting a collision. And we're getting very speedy collisions going on internally. Obviously you can tweak this to how you want it. You may not want to use a sphere because the sphere collapses in a certain way. You can get some really interesting looks and most importantly some very very fast simulation compared to what we had initially that's about it guys so that's just using uh, the wrap deformer over some geometry that's um, being uh, turned into an end mesh object and deforming the uh, object uh, that's inside which doesn't have to be uh, dynamic at all um, yeah there you go something a bit cool cheers guys see you in the next one